Hi, you're constantly told what to do when you have acne, right? But what about what not to do? Here are some of the things that you should avoid while dealing with acne that can actually help. Hi, my name is Yurai and I am the Skincare Stan. I've battled acne for over 10 years and on my journey, I learned a lot when it comes to dealing with acne. The following stuff really helped me and I really hope it helps you. Tip number one, don't pick on your skin. And I know, I know, it's easier said than done, but it's really important to work on this. For me, it took a long time to really mentally train myself not to pick on my acne and keep my hands away from my face. Honestly, I wish I trained myself sooner. Now I have some deep surface scars on my face that are a direct result of my acne anxiety getting the best of me when I was younger. And it's a constant reminder today to keep my hands away from my face as much as possible. You know, picking on your skin can cause bleeding, scarring, or even a serious infection. It's really no fun with dealing with any of those. So I find that pimple patches work great to keep me from touching a pimple when it pops up, especially if it's one of those big ones that you can't really ignore. Tip number two, don't wash your face too much. Wash your face two times a day maximum. In fact, washing once a day in the evening is enough for most people. Make sure to stay away from abrasive scrubs and harsh cleansers that have strong surfactants like SLS and go for gentle cleansers, which won't make your skin feel tight. Remember, if your skin feels that tight sensation after cleansing, it means your skin was over stripped. In the morning, you can just try splash your face with water instead of doing a full cleanse. In the evening, go for a double cleanse though, so you can really like take off all of the makeup and the SPF on your face. Remember, less is more when it comes to facial cleansing. Don't overdo it. Tip number three is don't forget to exfoliate. It's easy to forget exfoliation when you're dealing with acne because you're probably scared it could irritate your skin even more. But the truth is, if you do it in the right amount, exfoliating like two to three times a week can have a great effect on acne prone skin. Make sure to skip out on harsh physical exfoliators like walnut scrubs and go for chemical exfoliators. There's a whole plethora of them, but my favorites are Mandela acid and salicylic acid. They are especially great for acne prone skin. You see, mandelic acid is slightly antibacterial and salicylic acid can go deep into the pore, which is great for acne prone skin. Tip number four, don't forget hydration. When you're dealing with acne, the idea of putting moisturizer on your face can seem a little bit scary. You might think that it will clog your pores and cause even more acne. But in reality, using a good moisturizer to keep your skin hydrated is super important. Your skin needs the moisture for a healthy function and skipping out on moisturizer will leave your skin tired, dry, and open to more inflammation. So find a moisturizer that is right for your skin type and help your skin out. Don't keep it thirsty. Tip number five, don't overindulge in carbs and sugar. I know this one hurts. While carbs definitely have their share in any healthy diet, don't go overboard with them. Studies have shown that consuming refined sugar, salt, and foods high on the glycemic index can increase acne causing inflammation in the skin, as well as aggravate acne breakouts. So try to find a healthy balance between carbs, protein, healthy fats, and fiber to reduce inflammation and help your body heal your acne from the inside. Tip number six, the most important tip is don't let your acne get the best of you. It's very important to separate fact from fiction. Acne isn't caused by being dirty. People can leave mean and unnecessary comments out of sheer ignorance, but don't let that get to you. There are also myths going around having acne, the famous among them all. You need to wait for acne to go away on its own. This is not true because acne can be treated. Acne can change a lot of things, including the way you feel about yourself. It might make you embarrassed, angry, or sad, but the most important thing and the most important thing not to do when you have acne is letting it rule your life. You are a lot more than your skin. So keep your head up and don't let your acne get the best of you. Talk soon. Bye.